basically what you have is a situation where tonight there are people whose lives are falling around them at the moment. They're breaking into pieces. These people have put their livelihoods into building their businesses. They have probably put their life savings into building their businesses. Some of them will have put their houses into building businesses. Their businesses are no more because of the disastrous economic situation that we face. And also, those people don't have any safety net for themselves or their family anymore. A lot done, more to do. Benefits being slashed and taxes and health insurance are being increased. And why is this happening? Well, according to Gael, it's happening because Fianna Fáil are paying out the bondholders of the banks. These bondholders who took a commercial decision to buy a bond are actually in the situation that they're getting paid 80 billion euros of our money over the next number of years. This means that the people of Meath will have to pay 3 billion euros. Now that's 20,000 euros each for everybody in this room and every room in the country. And I'm not talking about adults here. I'm talking about men, women and children will pay 20 grand each to pay the banks. In the last number of years, Sinn Féin have created a serious alternative to the government. We have stated clearly not one penny under Sinn Féin government will go to Anglo-Irish Bank. We're the only party to state that, not one penny. We've stated that Allied Irish Bank and Bank of Ireland will have a serious haircut. I'd also like to say words to Fianna Fáil voters in the last elections. Those who feel that Fianna Fáil have betrayed them. It's not enough to, to feel dejected and stay at home come the election day. Your vote does not have to be a prisoner of previous preference. You too have a right to take control of the change that is happening in this county and vote for Sinn Féin. Now, voting clever also means bringing about change. Now, in this county it's very important to say that Sinn Féin is the only credible political party to take a seat off Fianna Fáil. In Meath West, we're polling at twice the rate that Labour is. A vote for Labour in Meath West is a wasted vote. And worse than that, a vote for Labour in Meath West will actually let Fianna Fáil in the back door. So but we're not asking you to vote for Sinn Féin just to get rid of Fianna Fáil, despite how attractive that is. We're asking you to vote for yourself, Michael and Jerry, on the basis of the change that we can bring. Now, in me, for example, we've led the way with regards to particular campaigns. The Navin Hospital campaign, campaign is a good case in point. When nobody was watching the hospital, Joe Riley ran the hospital campaign here in the county. There wasn't, I remember Saturdays after Saturdays when, you know, the Cummins were out, and we remember this as well, outside the shopping centre in Navin, outside the, the shops in Trim, outside the shops in Kells. And we collected 7,000 signatures. Not one year went by when we did not challenge the government and their cutbacks with some level of public demonstration. So, this year what we did was we broadened out the campaign. We invited other parties and other uh, community groups in. And what did we do? We created the largest demonstration of people that this county has seen in nearly 100 years. We created a situation where it's actually the second biggest hospital campaign in the country itself. In the north of the constituency, in the rural areas, there are serious problems with small to medium sized farmers struggling to make ends meet. They are not helped by any increase in the government carbon tax on agriculture, diesel, and VAT. These increases are going to a definite demonstrated effect on the running of the farm and put a lot of the agricultural contractors into liquidation. In 2003, it's proposed to remove the EU uh, and from the farm community and no proper structure or plan be put together by this government to alleviate the problems that are going to happen then. The farming and community and the rural community has been sold a pathetic deal on the little trees by both Fianna Fáil and find in the last uh, EU referendum.
here in this county, you can see how they're, 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 they're stripping away Northern Hospital. How they're just shredding it. And it's because they're trying to privatize our hospital services. But it isn't an accident. It is a matter of government policy. The government is making political choices. We believe in the right to access to health care from the cradle to the grave and to be paid for directly from taxes. We can afford it. We can still afford it. Even at the moment, we can still afford it. There, there are ethical questions here. There are questions of morality here. But it's also bad economics. If you're not looking after the people who are uh, ill or not, not have a, a wraparound health service, then that's going to cost the state more. Leaving aside uh, the, the issue of citizens' rights. So when you, when you see a situation, and remember at the height of the Celtic Tiger, we had people on hospital trolleys. Navin didn't just start to be undermined last week or last month or last year or, or since the uh, economic crisis hit in. That's been going on for over eight, nine years because it's a government decision and a government choice. Almost half a million people unemployed. 100,000 people reckoned are going to leave this state next year and as Potter said, government policy actually depends upon them doing that. But for me the biggest obscenity of all the things that have happened is in the context of private greed, private banks, private bankers being bailed out by you. Being bailed out by you. People here and people throughout this entire island, I think, would to use a Charlie Hawhey euphemism, would tighten their belts, would, would, would pay extra, would scrimp if they knew we were going to get a pristine health service or a pristine educational service. <coughs> but you're being asked, asked to pay for the corruption of the golden circle of bankers, financiers, big developers, and some politicians. Just absolutely ludicrous. The budget, people are talking about this being a bad budget. And this week, a quarter of the citizens of this state, a quarter of them, a million people, will have had the first down cut in social welfare this week. So money's been taken off cars, money's been taken off those who have disabilities, Money's been taken off people on social welfare to pay the bankers. And that, my friends, is wrong. And this election gives us an opportunity to say that. We deserve better. We are better than this. And we can do better than this. So, Meath, it's up to you. It's up to Republican Meath to set the standard and to go out from tonight, start the work tonight, and let's have the best election campaign we ever had, and let's be about, in the wonderful words of James Connolly, the reconquest of Ireland by the people of Ireland. Gora Mila Mila